Tim Carter, founder of AskTheBuilder.com, and I'm up here in my ham radio shack. I'm an amateur radio operator, and I can't think of a better place to tell you about a really neat tool. It is the Klein Tools MM700. It's a digital multimeter, and it's an auto-ranging one, and I have to tell you, it's really kind of a cool tool. So... I could talk to you for at least 10 or 15 minutes about all of the fine points of the electrical things that it can test, uh, but suffice it to say that obviously you can test both AC and DC voltage, AC and DC current, resistance, DC millivolts, DC and AC milliamps, AC and DC microamps. You can t check Fahrenheit centigrade temperature with it. Uh, you can do uh, continuity testing. That's really important. Uh, and, of course, it, what I like about it, this particular um, multimeter, and, and some other ones do this, but it emits a tone. In other words, when you've got continuity, you hear an audible tone. Here, listen to it. That was pretty cool, wasn't it? Okay, so just understand that this is a really interesting tool. It, it, who's it for? Who would use something like this? You know, if you're a homeowner, uh, if you are an electrician, a heating and air conditioning technician, a uh, serious do-it-yourselfer, you really should have a multimeter with you. And the reason why is, is there are just so many things around your home that you can use it on. I mean, you can use it to troubleshoot a, a three-way switch. Uh, you can use one to troubleshoot a pesky doorbell that might not be working. Uh, you can check to see, I know this sounds crazy, but let's say you want to see if uh, light bulbs are truly burned out. Well, guess what? You can do it by just checking the continuity of a light bulb. So there's many, many things you can use it for. In fact, I've used uh, multimeters in the past to even check to make sure if whether or not my son's alternator on his car was working because it's really simple to do. You just have to make sure it's putting out more than 12 volts, around 14 volts to be able to charge you know, the uh, the battery. So anyway, there's just many, many things that you can use this tool on. I really like this one because it's very durable. I like the auto ranging function on this tool because that means I don't have to try to guess what the voltage might be of something. It just automatically will figure it out. I really like the fact that I can check temperatures with this anywhere from zero degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 1500 degrees. So that's kind of an interesting... Um, a neat little, a little accessory that comes with this multimeter. So all I can tell you is um, you could talk for easily half an hour to an hour about a tool like this because there are just so many fine points that it can do. But just realize that one final thing. Uh, you may look at multimeters. You may think, well, gosh, I can get one for $20 or even $10 or you know, some very low number. Uh, and then there's ones that cost over $100. Well, in, when it comes to multimeters, you need to know this. Money means everything. In other words, if you want a multimeter that is robust, uh, that can handle what you're going to throw at it, you're going to want to spend a little bit more money. And here's the best part. A tool like this, you take care of it, it's going to last forever. So I really, uh, I really like this tool. Um, I love multimeters. I use them all the time. I use them in my ham radio work uh, when I'm building kits and uh, troubleshooting radios, uh, things like that. So just understand that you as a homeowner, maybe a contractor, you're going to have a good time with this tool. And of course, it's durable. It's made by client tools. Uh, you can drop this from six, uh, six and a half feet. Not going to get damaged. Really, really, um, really, really a fine tool. Go ahead. Check it out yourself. Look for the client tools MM700 the digital multimeter, and remember, it's an auto-ranging one. That's really important. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com. If you want to discover more home improvement tips, go to AskTheBuilder.com.